the sake of our guests, can you allow the media to be properly seated? Yes. Hello. Okay, please. Let me have an attention. Let the press people sit down. Don't get a seat to the press people, please. But if you allow the press to sit down, it's for press. Please, let me have your all the valid attention. Well, folks, if you just joining us, uh, this is Spool TV. We are coming to you live from the camera. And here today, the former foreign affairs minister will be addressing Hello. the media as it relates Please, to... Please, don't waste our time. You already told us that we wasted the time already, so don't add on to us. As it relates to the scheme. Okay. This is going to be the schooling to the passport. Oh, hello! So, can you join us? No, 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 Okay, can we have a starter, gentlemen? Yes. Hello. Okay, let me have your attention. Member of the four estates. As you may be aware, as it relates to the national issue in our country regarding Liberian passport, the media team of the Philly have decided to present to you on this day, I'm Lubasoka Milton Philly, who will make a few comments as it relates to the issue about. Having said that, it is binding upon me to present to you one of Liberia's funniest songs on Rubesonga Milton Feeling. We will now take on the media. You are welcome. Thank you very much. Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen. While letting baseless, unfounded, and trashy allegations against people of impeccable character and excellent in public service. Let me state for the record, as Minister of Foreign Affairs, at no time did I instruct the former passport director and visa 
to trade Liberian passport to non-Liberians. Let me stress that again. At no point in time did I give instruction for the former passport director and visa to trade Liberian passport to non-Liberians. Under my watch, as Minister of Foreign Affairs in August 2019, former director Wamplo was suspended for passport fraud and forwarded to the National Security Agency for further investigation. Subsequently, he was formally charged and forwarded to the court by the government of Liberia for persecution. It is noteworthy to clarify that while serving as Minister of Foreign Affairs, all honorary counsel, commission, and issued diplomatic passport by the government of the Republic of Liberia were properly vetted and in compliance with the established international protocols, regulations, and laws. To this end, I wish to assure the public and the great people of Grand Bassa County that I will submit myself to any investigation, home and abroad, and wherever necessary. Moreover, I wish to encourage former director Andrew Wamplo to submit himself under the jurisdiction of the court. He cannot vindicate himself while on the run of fleeing justice. I thank you. This is my statement. Okay. With that statement, we were allowed the media to give us only three questions because, as you may know, the minister has other pressing issues he has to attend to. So let me start by the first question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my name is James Gude Flomo. I report for Spoon FM and Spoon TV. Honorable uh, Fine, let's talk about your time at the ministry. Are you aware or did you ever... Or uh, did you ever uh, get in contact with a document? According to Womplo, uh, the president did sign a communication instructing him to give Liberian passports to uh, other Liberians as diploma and those who were not also Liberians. And it was signed by the president and forwarded to the justice ministry and the justice ministry brought it to your office and you instructed him to give those passports. And secondly, one question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one question. One is <laughs> about Liberia special. Uh, that is uh, the honorary consul to to, Mes to, one to Mexico. One question, one question to the entity. To Mexico. Wait. To Mexico. How did Liberia vet the current honorary consul general to Mexico? There is this claim that he is a drugs dealer. And you went through with the process. At the end of the day, you got kickback. That is, you got financial reward and you gave him it. And the past government, that is the Saliva administration, did not give him it. That is, he did not get the uh, position that he has currently. It was your administration, that is, when you were there, that made the deal to go through. And you got money. How you got it? Or how we got there? Let me, let me go to the first question. The president did not gave instruction to the passport director of any passport to be issued. Those instructions will come directly to the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Whether I'm present in the country or I'm absent, there's always an acting Minister of Foreign Affairs. So I have a problem with that. I don't believe that the President wrote uh, Director Wampo directly him to issue pass to non Nigerians. Second question. The Honorary Council in Mexico was vetted. The process through which you vet Honorary Council, they have to get a clearance from the National Security Agency. 
in the absence of that clearance, there is no honorary council under my leadership at foreign ministry, under my signature at foreign ministry, that was made honorary council without a vetting process. <laughs>